Good evening. We'd like to call Plaquemines Parish regular school board meeting to order November 7th, 2022 at Phoenix High School. We have invocation by Ms. Monica Works, Pledge of Allegiance by Mr. Paul Lemire. Please bow your heads. This evening, I ask you to keep in your prayers and thoughts, Mr. Bartholomew, who worked um, as a teacher at the school for many years, um, who passed away. Um, I believe it was last evening or either early this morning, I'm not quite sure. And I offer a prayer of thanksgiving to everyone. Oh God, when we have food, help us remember the hungry. When we have work, help us remember the jobless. When we have a home, help us remember those who have no home at all. When we are without pain, help us remember those who suffer and remembering, help us to destroy complacency, bestir compassion, and be concerned enough to help by word and deed those who cry out for what we take for granted. This we ask in your name, amen. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call and declaration of quorum, Mr. Roussel. Darren Namari Turner. Here. Daniel Moreau. Nico Tesovich. Here. Joyce Lampton. Here. Wayne Myers. Fran Bay Martinez. Here. Bobby Ingraham. Here. Paul Mayor. Here. Jennifer Sane. Madam President, you have a quorum. Thank you. We have an approval of agenda. We we'll call for a motion. I'll make a motion. With the, yeah. Uh, 4.03, discussion and appropriate action in regard to approval of procedures for school board policy IDDFC, cameras in special education classrooms. Ms. Mary Ellen Hammer, Director of Special Ed Director. It's the only one. Oh, I thought we was reading. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm moving too fast. We'll call for a, a vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 1.05 ad hoc and standing committee reports. We just have one. I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. The Finance and Budget Committee of Plaquemines Parish School Board met on Tuesday, November 1st, 2022 at the North Transportation Building. Members present were Joyce Lampkin Chair, Daryl and Demol Turner, Fran Baye Martinez, Paul Lemaire, Dennis Roussel, and Catherine Phelan. Others present were Dee Daigle, Wayne Forsine Sr., Monica Wirtz, and Sonia DePlessis. The meeting was called to order at 1.08 p.m. The first item on the agenda was a discussion regarding Plaquemines Parish School Board's health insurance and renewal plan comparisons for active employees and retirees for 2023. Ms. Phelan gave a brief comparison to this year's renewal process and the benefit of having additional data and statistics versus the 2021 process and renewal. Ms. Phelan introduced the district's benefits coordinator, Ms. D. Daigle, to provide summary of this year's process. Ms. Daigle informed the committee that four companies were provided with a quote request, request with the assistance of Mr. Fersane's office. However, Plaquemines Parish School Board received only two quotes, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Louisiana and United Healthcare. With the cost of the competitor's quote resulting in an 8.6% increase, including higher premiums and limited benefits, United Healthcare Plans was within the budgeted cost. Please note, many issues 
concerning the current plan were addressed at the finance office's request, which resulted in United Healthcare offering Plaquemines Parish School Board its enhanced plan. Some improvements to the plan are as follows. Minor lab slash x-ray diagnostic covered at 100%, deductible from 100,000 to 300,000 to 500 and 1,500. Tier one PCP visit for children under 19, zero copay, which is in place today. New, new program for vital meds. These medications on the list will be covered at zero copay for members 1-1-2023. One, one, Finally, an overview of Medicare Humana Passive PPO plan was discussed. More information regarding Medicare Humana's plan should be directed to Ms. Daigle. There being no further discussion, the meeting adjourned at 1.48 p.m. Just to clarify, the deductible went from 15 to 5 no. and 3,000 to 1 no. an increase? Okay. Okay. All right. Got it. The Executive Committee of the Plaquemines Parish School Board held its meeting on Monday, October 24, 2022, at the North Transportation Building. Members in attendance were Darrell and Damal Turner, Nico Tesevich, Jennifer Sanger, and Dennis Roussel. Others in attendance was Daniel Morrell, Mary Ellen Hamner, Brandon Wilkes, Monica Works, and Sonia DePlessis. The meeting was called to order at 4.38 p.m. The individual members of the executive committee had previously read and reviewed the proposed revision of, to the school board policy passed during the 2022 legislative update. Ms. Hamner presented a draft of procedures, policies, and summary packets for Act 456 and Act 588 with revisions to status passed during 2020, 2022 legislative session. Mr. Brandon Wilkes, SEAC Special Education Advisory Council, Chairperson provided a PowerPoint explaining the history, procedures, and policies of Act 456 and Act 588. Ms. Worst then provided a brief summary of the revised and existing policies. GBN, dismissals of employees, GBRIB, sick leave, GBRID, military leave, JGCE, child abuse, GBDA, employment of retired personnel, JBCE Public School Choice, and the new school board policy, LEH, Patriotic Organizations. After a brief discussion, the committee agreed to recommend to the board for approval the proposed, revised, and new policies as listed above. There being no further business, the meeting was adjourned at 6.15 p.m. That is all for our ad hoc and standing committee reports. Now we'll have Plaquemines Parish recognitions and our presentations. We have none, okay. Three, board members time for non-agenda and agenda items. 3.01, discussion and appropriate action in regards to approval of revised and new board policy passed during the 2022 Louisiana Legislative Session, part two, with waiver of second reading. Ms. Jennifer Sanger, who isn't here, District 9 member executive committee. And that was just the policy that I just read. Um, Ma Madam President, before we do that one, can I um, mention something with non-agenda items? Absolutely. Real quick. I'm sorry. I was just reading off the... Uh, yeah. All right. Um, I just wanted to congratulate South Plaquemines girls volleyball team for being co-district champs this year. Um, last year, they didn't win any games, and this year they were co-district champs. They lost in the first round. But uh, we're very proud of them. Our boys football team are district champs this year. We play Friday in the playoffs. Bell Chase girls volleyball team were district champs. And they won their first two volleyball playoff games. So they'll play in the Cajun Dome Thursday at 2.30. And uh, also Bell Chase high school football team is in the playoffs. And they play Friday at Westgate. So we're very proud of our student athletes. Thank you. Oh, and good luck to all of my fellow board members on their election tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Any other board member? I just wanted to make a note. It's election day tomorrow. Everybody go vote. Please do it. Thank you.
Thank you, Ms. Christie, Ms. Loses, as always. Uh, I can't wait to taste that gumbo. Oh, of course, gotta thank Ms. Janine. Um, yeah. Ms. Janine, thank you. And uh, for the gumbo and, and the delicious spread. Um, any other board member? If not, we'll go on to 3.01. We'll call for a motion. Uh, since Ms. Sanger's not here, I'll make a motion for it. Okay. All right, and it's basically the policy that I, um, I read off about the, it's the new policy, revised policy as well. Any questions from the board? Uh, another question, just a comment. I wanted to thank uh, Ms. Wirtz and Ms. Hamner and Mr. Wilkes for their very informative and in-depth presentation to us the other day. Um, they were very gracious and answered all our questions to make sure we were clear on these new policies to make sure they were the right things for the board. I have one question, and it's a quick question. On the retired employees that can come back to work, is what happens with their retirement they're in now? Does it come to a standstill, or are they still collected? It actually depends on the date of their retirement. There's a window. So okay. people who have retired longer, a long time ago, or under certain rules, people who retired recently or on certain rules, and also, if the district declares a critical shortage that allows certain people to continue working. Um, so it's, it's up to the individual, they or to call TRSL, because every case is different. Bus drivers is the same thing? Same thing. Okay. Any other questions? We call for a vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 3.02, discussion and appropriate action in regard to approval of school board meeting rotation schedule for 2023. Did everybody get a chance to look at the schedule? All right, we call for a motion. Uh, I'll make a motion. All right, any questions from the board? Yeah, I was wondering about our April 3rd date. I know the, the conferences, the national conferences are both for that weekend. I know we have April 3rd, that Monday listed as a date, but then we got Easter holidays right after that. Is that one we want to consider changing? We're going to have to because the national one says April 1st or the 3rd. Have you guys decided? I thought we were going to wait until we establish a new board. Or if then we can't approve this until we... We can amend this. Okay. All right. Is that the only? That's the only thing I noticed, Madam okay. President. Any other questions? I think the following week would be Easter, right? Mm -hmm. So it's conflicting. But the days? Um, well, we're off of school. So if we, if we moved it from, um, oh, I'm in April 2022. So if we moved it from uh, April 3rd to April 10. We're out for Easter holidays because uh, April 10th is the day after Easter. So moving it to April 17th, aren't there sometimes time sensitive things in yes. April and March? And I would hate for us to, to go too far out with something, you know, no, miss good. a 30 day window. We're good. Okay. If we, if we need to move it back then, why don't we just approve this and then we can revise the schedule later on? Yeah, that's I'm fine, fine with that. We'll know once we know what conference you guys are going to. Okay. All right. Any questions from the audience? we we'll call for a motion. I mean, I'm sorry. we we'll call for a vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, superintendent's, superintendent's comments and reports. Discussion and appropriate action in regard to adopting the amended budget for the Plattman's Parish School Board for the 2021-2022 school year. Ms. Phelan. Call for a motion. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Good evening. Uh, before you, you have a packet. The left column is our original budget for 21-22, and the right column entitled amended budget is the 22 amended budget. Um, as you can see, we are at a surplus uh, essentially, we um, have an increase in our sales taxes, which we've talked about over the past few meetings. Uh, and 
Our expenses were under budget in the general fund, essentially due to the ESSER funding that we received, which those salaries were coded to the grant series that starts with 3-5. And we had to do it that way in order to claim those, those funds. So those funds will be back on the general fund in 23. Um, so as we projected in our original budget, we were in the year at a $2.8 million surplus. I'm pleased to say that the amended budget reflects a $9.3 million surplus, which is inclusive of all funds. Grants, most of which are reimbursable grants, had a net bottom line of zero. The grants that are not reimbursable grants, all of them had a surplus. Uh, I'd like to especially note that uh, Medicaid received some prior year monies, uh, which is a good thing. The only grant that was in the deficit was the COVID fund, which is $400,000, and that is simply because um, pursuant to Omicron, we did not close the grant out, but we plan to do that by December to seek reimbursement on those funds. So do we have any questions or comments? Uh, just a comment. I want to thank the administration for keeping us fiscally conservative and, and you know, watching our pennies. And of course, thank you to my fellow board members for supporting the administration and supporting our endeavors to, to be fiscally responsible. Uh, it's amazing when you see surpluses and no bond debt. I mean, come on. It's a great, when you look at our books, you gotta be happy and smile if you're a person that likes numbers. So thank y'all for that. Any other questions, comments from the board? Thank you, Ms. Phelan. Thank you, Ms. Phelan. We hereby ask that you all approve the amended budget. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries, thank you. Thank you, 4.02, discussion appropriate action regard to the renewal of the employees and retirees health insurance policy plan, Ms. Phelan. Motion, please. I'll second. Uh, as Ms. Lampkin read from the minutes from the committee meeting, I believe it was last week, uh, we solicited health insurance renewals. We received two quotes from two companies. Blue Cross, our company from two years ago, and then United Healthcare, who we switched to this past year. Now, I'd like to just say that uh, Ms. Daigle did an excellent job of leveraging our position because United Healthcare essentially only had nine or ten months of claims. So the risk pool to them um, looked better than if you have five or six years of claims. Um, she told them the employees' concerns and complaints about United Healthcare, and essentially they wanted our business, and they agreed to give those items to us and to the employees at no additional cost. Blue Cross, Blue Shield, the cost was very prohibitive, and essentially if we went with Blue Cross, we would have to amend the 23 budget. Those are the facts. Any, Any questions, questions from the board? Questions from the audience? We call for a vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank, Thank you, you, Ms. Phelan. Thank you, Ms. Phelan. 4.03, discussion and appropriate action regard to approval of procedures for school board policy, IDDFC cameras, and special ed classroom. Ms. Hammond. Can you get a motion, please? I make a motion. I'll That's it. All right. Thank you. 
What I'm doing today is just asking for you to approve the procedures that we have in place for the cameras and special education policy that you guys passed at a previous board meeting. And like Mr. Testovich said, I went over all the procedures. I think you have some, maybe a PowerPoint, right, in your presentation for it. And what it is, it's, a, it's very step-by-step. -step. If parents request a camera in a special education room, we have procedures that map out from installation to viewing to purchase through Ms. Phelan. It was a good presentation. Oh, thank you. It I'm really not going to go through that today because it no. was 45 <laughs> minutes. But I don't mind sharing with you guys, you know, if you, if you wanted to see it. If and a parent requests a camera and another parent doesn't want it. There, there's no, it's a public school is, is what I've been told. Okay. There is no way for a parent to say, I don't want a camera in the room if it's approved for that room. And I did ask the attorney, but I hadn't um, heard back from him yet. But like Mr. Tesevich, I think he and I spoke, that eventually there's going to be a lawsuit, right? Somebody's going to say, I don't want my child filmed. I don't care what you say about your child. So there will probably be lawsuits, and that will give a precedence that will change that. But right now there's no, no way for a parent to say they don't want it. They can say it, but it's not going to change the fact that it's in the room. Same questions we had. <laughs> so, yeah. Any other questions? All right. We call for a vote. I'm sorry, any questions from the audience? Okay. We call for a vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Lane. Thank you. Our 4.05 should be four head start monthly budget. Ms. Haydow. Hi, good evening, everybody. Just here to see if anybody had any questions or concerns with the budget or any other early childhood things. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Have a good evening. Thank you, Ms. Haydow. Approval of the board consent agenda 5.01 and 5.02. I'd actually take those together. Right, we'll call for a motion. I'll make a motion to take those items together. Any questions from the board? Questions from the audience? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have a question? No. Okay. <laughs> we call for a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. All right. Any, inf in, any information items? I mean, we have to do, we're not doing 5.03, right? No, that's all. Okay. No information items? Okay. Any citizens' comments? All right. Next meeting, December 6, 2022, not 21, at South Plaquemines High School. <laughs> All right. We'll call for an adjournment at this time. Ms. Turner? On, on, on the um, board docs, it has South Plaque High School, but on the paper is Bell Chase right. Elementary Bell School. Chase because January meeting, I think, is at South Platte High School. So, oh, it's the wrong date? Yes. So it, it's the same date. So this is the last December. year of? Uh, <laughs> so the meeting will be held in Belchase Elementary December 5th, okay. 6 o'clock p.m. Okay. So next meeting, so December 5th, 2022, at Belchase Elementary at 6 p.m. All right. Now we'll call for an adjournment. I'll make a motion. I'll second it. All right. All in favor to adjourn? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Meeting is adjourned. <laughs>